This is Twit. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids whizzes of all ages, it's time for Dick DiBartolo, <laughs> Mad Magazine's maddest writer and our gizmo wizard. Hello, Dickie D. Leah, how you doing, pal? Very, very good. Of course, we're at the 20th anniversary of 9-11 today. Oh, my uh, gosh. Where were you uh, 20 years ago today? Uh, I was here, actually. Uh, my brother woke me up with a phone call. You were, you're you in New York. York. You're in Manhattan. Uh, in New York. But you're uptown, so it was downtown, right? Yeah, yeah way downtown. Way downtown. Way downtown. Yeah. But, I mean, it was... So you didn't hear anything, but, boy, I'm sure n n yeah. it was still scary. Well, when scary. you walked to the marina, you could just see everything. The smoke. So and, it, was, yeah. it was not good. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, you know, there's something, it was a scar that we'll all bear, I think, all our lives, um, especially Absolutely. New Yorkers. Yes. Yeah. What uh, do you have today? Well, you know, with all the hurricanes around and people not having power for days, this is something from BioLite. You and I have done some BioLite. Oh, I like BioLite. So yeah, they, Bio they made a camp stove that would you could plug your USB device into. Yeah, yes. They make a lot of stuff, and they, they give a lot of stuff away to third world Oh, countries. good for them. That's nice. And so this is the BioLite Solar Home Kit. And so this is pretty neat. It's $150. You get, you get a workstation, which you mount on a wall, whatever you want. It, it, this is for temporary. This is like for a shed that has no power, or if you have... A, a tree house if you have a, a summer house where the power is always going out you can quickly just run this from room to room okay it's wired between each light there's a, i think it's 18 feet of cable each light has its own on and off switch the little workstation has a work light it has a little place to plug in a, a memory card if you want to play music oh. has a Built in it FM looks radio. like one of those handheld cassette players, kind of. Yeah, it does, it does look like that. <laughs> it's so funny. It does look like that. And is this and all charged a, by a solar? A, a solar panel. There's a. Uh, uh, what if your lights go a, out in the middle of the night? Well, it stores. Oh, it's got a battery in the in the so you, battery so you that, keep it that is in the little workstation. You, you keep it charging. I yeah, see. and it's interesting because I'm among the reviews. There's there's three people who said. I bought one of these, and I just keep it in the closet for emergencies. No. And I'm thinking, shouldn't you put the solar panel in your window? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so that... So, did you tr did you set this up? How long did it take to uh, charge uh, it up You know what? I, it, it is so much wiring here. I, I just charged it to make sure that the, the lights light. Oh, and the one of the lights has a built-in motion sensor. So, if you want to aim that toward a door... You, so that's see that's what I in. would do. I would put this in the garage or wherever you you know don't want to be in the pitch black the basement. String a wire to the solar panel, let it charge all the time, and then exactly. that way you've got a, a motion sensitive light that works, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And you get twenty feet of cable. You sh it should <laughs> you should always have it charging if it's your emergency backup. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's one hundred and fifty dollars for the kit. And My only concern is this it looks like it's kind of small solar panel, so I wonder how long that would take it, to uh, charge it, it all. It was, up. Tw uh, I believe, it was only four hours in bright sun. Oh, that's not if you bad want, at all. If you want to cheat, I think for thirteen bucks they sell an, uh, an AC connector. There's a little yeah, you might uh, extra you might keep it input. as an emergency yeah. light that's charging from the power. Exactly, yeah. exactly. If you want to do that, you can. But it's very nicely laid out. It comes in this neat little uh, box for easy storage. But as we're saying, you should really have the solar panel out and keep that charged. So yeah. if the lights go out, you can instantly throw some light into each room. But I think that that's kind of cool. Like if the power went out for a long time, you could keep it charged via AC. But then if the power went out for a long time, you could use the sun to keep it charged up to keep in between going. during Absolutely. the day and at Absolutely. night you'd have Absolutely. a little bit that's a yeah. that's a clever device now here's it, it, the way it, it, you'd find this device you go to dick's website g-i-z w-i-z dot b-i-z the new and, and i improved. took your advice the website is now on the internet so thank it, you for very that. smart i think you know a website that's not on the internet is really hard to reach it requires yeah. you know too much driving in my opinion. So, 
So put it on the put it on the internet, then we can all visit it. Giz Wizzed Up is this is new and uh, re improved, right? You, Myra did the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, this is this is Myra did the yeah. site over. And nice job. Uh, we made it mobile. And you can smell it's the fresh paint when you get there. Most most people now are doing mobile. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, searching yeah. for websites. I almost think you don't really need these days a website as much as you need a mobile app or a mobile site. Oh, that's right. interesting. Yeah. That's interesting. That's ch slowly changing. But you know, I want. Hey, thanks for a little link to Tech Guy Labs there. By the way, thank you. Oh yeah, no, I we just saw do. that. Dick appears here, but he also appears on World News Now. If you want to see the gadgets he shows there, that's on the website. There's a big button that says the Gizwiz visit the tech guy. If you want to find this uh, this device that he, uh, he mentioned, the BioLite Solar Home 620 kit, and also everything he's mentioned in previous times. And don't forget the What the Heck Is It contest, the chance to win an autographed copy of Mad Magazine. If you can identify this organ pipe, I'm sorry. Oh, did I say that out loud? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, Dick. I'm, no, Dick is smart. He never tells me ahead of time. No. I'm just as ignorant as 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 I always am. <laughs> but so the trick is what could this be? Uh there are autographed copies of Mad Magazine, up to six for the right answer, but the good news is there's up to twelve for the cute wrong answer. So make it funny. All the details are at gizwiz.biz. And you have this is this is a brand new one, so you have to the end of October. Yeah. Till Halloween. Yeah. To do this, there's lots of other stuff there. Dick's blog and log, Gizmos Ahoy, boat gadgets, the Gizwiz Garb Edge, which is hats <laughs> and things, and of course, all his Mad Magazine collectibles and match game collectibles, too. Gizwiz.biz. Very nice, Dick. Did you go to Thank any you, of the sir. memorials this morning or anything? No, I did not. It's probably too I, crowded. I watched some of, yeah. some of it on, on television yeah. and just had memories of people I met. Mm. We went, uh, <laughs> I know you used to do Live with Regis and Kathy Lee. Yes, yes, yeah. And uh, they called me in October of, tw of 20, 2001 because they couldn't get anybody to come out <laughs> and do the show. And they said, would you be willing to fly out to New York in a, a month after 9-11? I said, sure, I'll be there. But and the main reason I and I did it and the, it was Regis and Ka uh, Kelly by then. Yeah, yeah, right. Ma main reason I did it was because I wanted to go to the site and pay my respects, and it was something to see. With it was all fenced in, and of course there were it was oh, the fences yeah. were filled with flyers. Have you seen our father, our son, our friend, oh, and my memorials? God. I went by the fire station and all the flowers and. It was very, very moving. I was felt oh, very yeah. fortunate. Dennis and I went down to. They made the the, the Javits Center, the, where where you would meet people, and they had said that they needed dog food, so we bought Aww. boxes of dog food, and we got there, and and the man said, "I can't take this." I said, "Why?" He said, "See that parking lot of FedEx trucks?" I said, "Yes." He said. Every one of those trucks oh, wow. is full of dog oh. food. So oh. we turned away. He said, "The guy said, look, you look so depressed.'" Give it to me. Leave it here. I'll make sure it gets used. Oh, <laughs> that's sweet. So, Every, it it yeah. is as horrible as that day is uh, in our memory. It, people really stepped up and uh, Un it, it really, unreal. It was. It's really wonderful to see how people help. In a time Trucks of, of food would yeah. pull up and and set up barbecues. Everything was free. Have you been to the uh, Memorial and Museum yet? You know what? I can't take it just yet. I burst into I just, tears. It was. Uh, oh my god! I couldn't. I, can't. I feel. I know exactly what you mean. Uh, but it's worth seeing if you're in Manhattan and uh, and you go to the site. Beautiful memorial. But that museum, uh, I, I was sobbing the whole time. It was. Oh, very, absolutely. Very touching. Yeah. Dick, thanks so much. We'll see you okay, next buddy, week. Okay, buddy. I'll see you next week.